Disclaimer All the materials and examples used in this video are only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. Ethical hackers play a crucial role when it comes to safeguarding and protecting an organization's networks from unauthorized access. In today's digital era, there is a high demand for ethical hackers across the world and this demand is forecasted to grow. So if you want to become an ethical hacker, one of the most important certifications that you must possess is the CEH certification. On that note, hey guys, welcome to yet another informative video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will brief you about the world-renowned Certified Ethical Hacker Certification, that is, the CEH Certification version 11. This video will throw an insight into how different the CEH version 11 is from the previous versions and what you can expect from CEH version 11. But before we begin, if you're new here and haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for interesting tech videos every day. So, let's get started. Let us look at what we are going to cover in today's video. First, we'll understand the importance of the CH certification and what it is. Then, we will tell you who is eligible to take up this certification. Moving on, we will understand the latest CH version 11's exam objectives and get an overview of the exam details. Finally, we will conclude by looking at the career prospects of a candidate with the CH certification. Moving to our first topic, let us understand the importance of the CH certification before getting to know about its content. So why should you take up the CH version 11? The Certified Ethical Hacker is the most trusted ethical hacking certification and a recommended one by employers around the globe. Since the introduction of the CH certification in 2003, it is globally recognized as a standard within the information security field. The CH version 11 by EC Council continues to keep up to the standard and it familiarizes the latest hacking techniques and teaches you advanced hacking tools and exploits used. The CH version 11 aligns with the current cybersecurity market requirements and adds the latest advancements in the cybersecurity field. The CH certification helps and trains you to think like a hacker and this in turn helps you beat a hacker and defend your network. After obtaining the CH certification, you will be a Certified Ethical Hacker. A Certified Ethical Hacker is a skilled professional working in a red team environment who safeguards networks and understands attack strategies and mimics the skills of malicious hackers. Certified Ethical Hackers discover vulnerabilities in a system and operate with permission from the system owners only. So who can become a Certified Ethical Hacker and who can take up the CH certification? Let us have a look at that now. In the first case, to be eligible for the CH certification exam, you need to attend the official training from authorized EC Council training partners. It can be an online training or tutor-led training from EC Council learning partners. Only then are you eligible to take up the CH certification exam. So a candidate who has completed an official EC Council training is eligible to take up the exam without going through the application process. Or, in the second case, in order to be considered for this credential, you need to have at least two years of work experience in the information security domain and you must pay a non-refundable application fee and submit an eligibility application form. Once it is approved, you can take up the CH exam. After the application is approved, you can purchase the test voucher. In the latest version of the CH, we will see the addition of various core concepts. Moving on to our next topic, let us see how different the CH version 11 is and few of its objectives. Firstly, it outlines ethical hacking concepts, cyber kill chain concepts, an overview of information security and various laws and regulations related to information security. This certification briefs you about the phases of system hacking, attacking techniques and how you can maintain access. It also briefs you about footprinting concepts and ways of utilizing footprinting tools along with necessary countermeasures. The next objective is to familiarize with vulnerability assessment along with a hands-on experience of various scanning tools. Next, we have cybersecurity threats like malware threats, analysis of various worms, viruses and trojans. Various malware concepts, packet sniffing concepts and techniques have been introduced into this domain. 
It also highlights the concepts related to social engineering, denial of service attacks, SQL injection, and evasion techniques. It also speaks about wireless hacking concepts and mobile device management. The concept of operational technology is a new addition this time. Next is getting acquainted with Honeypot's IPS, their evasion and protection. Our fifth point is knowing various topics in cryptography like encryption algorithms, public key infrastructure and cryptanalysis. Moving on, the next objective is to incorporate Parrot Security OS as it offers better performance on lower powered laptops and machines when compared to Kali Linux. Next is to learn to recognize and deal with IoT-based vulnerabilities and attacks with the CH version 11 course that covers the latest IoT hacking tools. You would be required to ensure the safety of IoT devices. Our next point is with respect to the evolving cloud industry. You would need to learn how to identify and defend cloud-based threats and attacks. The latest version of CH includes new operating systems and Windows 10 configured with domain controller and vulnerable web applications for improving hacking skills. Finally, what is different is that more than 50% of the CH version 11 course is dedicated to practical skills in live ranges via EC Council Labs. EC Council leads in this aspect of the industry. Now that we saw the CH exam objectives, let us look into the CH exam topics we teach. As you see on your screens, this is a pie chart with 9 domains in CH along with their weightages. You can prepare for your exam accordingly. Let us move on and take a closer look at each of these domains, their respective subdomains and their descriptions. Our first domain is Information Security and Ethical Hacking Overview. This domain consists of questions from information security, cyber kill chain concepts, ethical hacking concepts, various hacking concepts, and information security laws and standards. You can expect a total number of 8 questions from this domain. The weightage of this section is 6%. The second domain is reconnaissance techniques. Under the subdomains, we have footprinting and reconnaissance at first, this covers various topics like footprinting concepts, footprinting methodology, email footprinting, footprinting through web services, DNS footprinting, footprinting through social engineering, etc. The next subdomain in this section is scanning networks. Scanning networks covers various concepts like scanning tools, host discovery, port and service discovery, OS discovery, draw network diagrams, scanning beyond IDS, firewall, etc. And our third subdomain of reconnaissance techniques is enumeration. Various topics like SNMP enumeration, NTP and NFS enumeration, SMTP and DNS enumeration, and enumeration countermeasures are covered under this subdomain. A total of 26 questions will be asked from this domain. Under footprinting and reconnaissance, you will have 10 questions. And under scanning networks, another 10. And finally, under enumeration, you will have 6 questions. A total weightage of 21% is given to this particular topic. Our third domain is System Hacking Faces and Attack Techniques. Under our third domain, our first subdomain is about Vulnerability Analysis. This subdomain covers topics on Vulnerability Assessment, Vulnerability Classification, Vulnerability Assessment Solutions and Tools, and various Vulnerability Assessment Reports. Our next subdomain is about System Hacking. You have concepts like gaining access, cracking passwords, vulnerability exploitation, escalating privileges, maintaining access covered under this subdomain. And finally, we have malware threats under this domain. Malware threats incorporate concepts like APT concepts, Trojan concepts, virus and worm concepts, malware analysis and so on. A total of 21 questions will be asked from this domain. Under vulnerability analysis, there will be 9 questions asked system hacking and other 6 questions and finally under malware threats you will have 6 other questions asked. That sums up to a total 21 with a weightage of 17% for this domain. Our fourth domain is about network and perimeter hacking. Here you have various subdomains and one of it is social engineering. Under social engineering you will be asked questions based on social engineering techniques, insider threats, impersonation on social, networking sites, identity theft, and so on. You'll also have various questions on the sniffing concepts as it is another subdomain. You can also expect questions from the denial of service subdomain. 
Here, questions related to botnets and DDoS attacks will be asked. Various session hijacking concepts are another crucial part of this domain. The final subdomain is about evading IDS firewalls and honeypots. Here, various concepts on IDS, IPS, firewall and honeypots are covered and honeypots are covered. You will need to understand how to evade IDS and firewalls and how to detect honeypots. A total number of 18 questions will be asked from the fourth domain that was network and perimeter hacking and the weightage for this domain is 14%. Our fifth domain is about web application hacking and our first subdomain in it is hacking web servers. This incorporates concepts related to web server attacks, web server attack tools, patch management and so on. The next subdomain is about hacking web applications. Here you have various concepts related to bypass client-side controls, analyze web applications, footprint web infrastructure, attack access controls and how to perform injection attacks and so on. Finally, under the SQL injection subdomain, you will have questions based on SQL injection, the types of SQL injection, the SQL injection methodology, SQL injection tools, evasion techniques and SQL injection countermeasures. Here, a total of 20 questions will be asked from this domain. And that is, a weightage of 16% will be given to the web application hacking domain. Our sixth domain is solely devoted to wireless network hacking. This domain focuses on hacking wireless networks, various wireless concepts, wireless encryption, wireless threats, wireless hacking tools, various hacking methodologies, Bluetooth hacking, and wireless countermeasures are covered. A total of 8 questions will be asked from this domain with a weightage of 6%. Our seventh domain is all about mobile platform IoT and OT hacking. Our first subdomain here is hacking mobile platforms. Here, the concepts that are touched upon are mobile platform attack vectors, hacking Android OS, hacking iOS, mobile device management, and mobile security guidelines and tools. Our next subdomain here is about IoT and OT hacking, which covers concepts on IoT hacking tools, its methodologies, countermeasures, and it also speaks about OT concepts, OT attacks, OT hacking tools, and OT countermeasures. You have a total of 10 questions asked from this domain with a weightage of 8%. The next domain is very interesting and it is all related to cloud. The cloud computing domain covers concepts based on cloud computing, serverless computing, cloud computing threats, cloud hacking and cloud security. The weightage given to this domain is 6% with a total number of questions of 7. And finally we have cryptography as our ninth domain. As the name suggests, this domain covers topics based on cryptography concepts, encryption algorithms, cryptography tools, public key infrastructure, email encryption, disk encryption, crypt analysis, and countermeasures. And 7 questions will be asked from this domain with a weightage of 6%. Now that you saw the CH exam topics weightage, let us have a closer look at the CH exam details. Let us first have a look at the CH exam based on MCQs. The exam title is Certified Ethical Hacker with the exam code of 312-50. This exam will have 125 questions with a time limit of 4 hours. The test format is multiple choice questions. The pass percentage varies ideally between 60% to 85%. Now let's have a look at the CH practical exam details. In order to gain the CH master recognition, it is mandatory that you take up the CH practical exam as well. The exam title is Certified Ethical Hacker Practical and this practical exam will have 20 questions with a duration of 6 hours. The exam format will be iLab Cyber Range and finally the passing score for the CH practical exam is at 70%. After clearing both the MCQ based exam and the practical exam, you can get the CH master recognition. Now that we had a look at the CH exam details, let us have a look at the career prospects for a professional with this certification. Having the CH certification guarantees that you have an insight into the hacking world. Hence, companies want to hire professionals who can think like a hacker and safeguard their networks and systems. A candidate with a CH certification can apply for various cybersecurity job roles such as penetration tester, security engineer and information security analyst from the long list. According to Payscale, the annual average salary of a CH professional in India is Rs 5 lakhs per annum. Meanwhile, in the United States, a professional holding the CH certification earns nearly $93,000 on an average basis annually. 
Now that you had a look at the CH version 11 certification and its career prospects, what are you waiting for? Get certified with Simply Learn and buy that CH certification. And with that, we have come to the end of this video on CH version 11 certification. I hope it was informative and interesting. 